Okay, it's the next day. Seven or ten o'clock. Look at how deep the snow is between the cars here. Now, I was out here a half an hour ago with the snow blower and the shovel, and there's already about three inches where I was shoveling. At this point, I can't even get in between these cars really. I mean, this is my car. See that? That line here? This is the, 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 the top, the bottom of my window. You can see there's the rear view mirror. Look at that. I mean, I don't know. This is going to be tough. I mean, there's, I'm not under any illusions of how hard this is going to be, but at least I got a guy coming with a plow, and from the back of the RAV4, he's going to drop the blade and pull it out. But this is going to be all day. I'm going to be in and out all day because this is when people have heart attacks, when they come out here and they try to do the whole thing in 20 minutes. So I'm not a kid anymore. You know, I'm not like a real old person, but I'm not a kid. And you just, look at how high the snow is piled up on the cars. I mean, it's not going to be till tomorrow afternoon before we're backing any of these things out. I mean, we'll see. But it's going to be a long, long couple of days and weekend because there's going to be snow this weekend too. So, hey, it's, it's December. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll be keeping on making this video as the day goes on. Well, I'm pretty out of breath. You can see that I have, between the shovel and the snow blower, I've been able to get to the back of the RAV4. See that? That's as far as I got. And uh, my nephew's coming, and he's going to drop the blade and pull the stuff out for me. But... I mean, look at that the mailbox all the way to the top. Look at this. This is just beyond. But it's like nine minutes after one, ten after one, and I, this is my third time that I came out. And the first time I got to about here, and then when I came out, I had to dig all this back out again because it was already back under six inches of fresh snow so let's see flip this around see if you can get a look at me so I'm in my winter gear thank God I got this thing it, it works like a charm because I get pretty overheated anyways but it's the wind blowing in the ears that just gives me vertigo so my clothes are all wet this is the third shirt that I've gone through and I'm about burnt out already so this is the big storm <laughs> well it's almost 730 I don't know whether you could see this or not but the snow is almost as high as my pool it's almost as high as the pool right there. I I had to carry the snow all the way. I had to back up with it and then throw it there, there, and here. <clears throat> Look at this. This is the top of the car still. That's the top of the RAV4. And I was able to dig up to about here. Metro bus got stuck. There, there's my Christmas decorations <laughs> that I put out yesterday. Look at the snow piled up on my deck. This is a disaster.
so it's the third night and I know it's hard to see but it took me from about 11 o'clock today until 5 o'clock to get the RAV4 out of the driveway okay you see this is where it was see this pocket here I know it's hard to see it in the dark but look at this anyways look at this now I had to use my concrete shovel I broke my snow shovel and I had to team double, triple team it with my snow blower okay now you see from there to there that street I had to dig all through this and this is hard packed too I mean it's ice look at all these parking spots this is the whole half of the street all these people dug their cars out and this this lady here she got hers in there this lady got her vehicle there but look at the front of my house look at how high the snowbank is and I haven't even done my sidewalk which I know th this guy's sidewalk is done and you can see all the way I gotta cut through all of this snow to get to there and I'm gonna do that tomorrow and I'm just gonna come out here with a couple of beers and I'm gonna just pick away at it and all this still has to be look at how high that snow is that's how high I piled the snow I mean it's over my head you know it's about this this here is about six foot that there is way higher and then there's my car under all that snow so we'll be we'll be checking that out tomorrow hey, hey, hey everybody it's the captain and um, you know it's like a little after eight and you know you've seen the video from Wednesday night when I went out there and then you know I shot some clips yesterday um, showing the progress and then I didn't shoot any video today except for what you have seen leading up to this um, I, I had to go out there and just throw everything I had at getting that driveway shoveled and <clears throat> You know, we were waiting for people to come all day. Um, there's a guy in town. He's got a plow business. He does charity. He helps people out and what have you. And he said he was just going to come by, you know, drop the blade and pull some snow out for us. And he tried to get here all night, and he couldn't because the roads were so bad and this and that. And So he sent this guy over with his kids, five little kids. <clears throat> we had them do Mary's next door, and we had them do Andy across the street and they worked for like three hours and they barely got anything done but you seen what I did today I mean I shoveled about 50 feet of four foot snow that was packed it was starting to freeze up I mean during the middle of the day it was nice and sunny and it was actually warm out <clears throat> about 33 34 degrees and a lot of that bottom snow started to actually melt a little bit and then as soon as it started to get dark out again you know like around three o'clock four o'clock it started to freeze up and I broke a shovel um, just about burnt out my snow blower and yeah I had to go to the concrete shovel and start using that too so this has been a th three days of hell um, Little, around 5 o'clock, I was able to finally punch through, and I backed out the, um, the RAV4, and I went and picked up beer and bread and butter and uh, more gas for the snowblower. I had to buy a new shovel, um, did a little bit of grocery shopping, and just trying to get around this area was pretty bad. Buffalo, South Buffalo, the traffic wasn't that bad, and I think that's because there's a higher caliber of IQ people running around here. As soon as you got into Lackawanna, it was jerk-off city. And <clears throat> partially it's because of the drivers, and the other part of it it's because of the workers um, clearing the streets. They were, they were screwing around, driving a payloader down the street about maybe um, two miles an hour, um, they didn't have the lights timed 
it's like they somebody screwed with the lights to try to get through the one area to try to cross the intersection you had 20 seconds of green light but the other people going this way they had three minutes of green light and they, and that wasn't enough for them and when the light turned green for us we were blocked by cars so we ended up getting gridlocked so it took me a real long time to get up to the store it took me it took me about a half an hour to get to a place that usually takes me about two minutes so it, that was no that was not thrilling at all and it's just it's been brutal and I still have a whole lot of s snow to remove um, over the next couple of days but I got the fundamental part done heavy on the metal part done for getting so that we can at least get our vehicle out of the driveway and get up to the store and get things if we need things or if we need to go anywhere we could do that but <clears throat> This was a brutal, brutal snowstorm. And it did nothing but snow all day yesterday. I mean, we, we had a guy that was going to come. We, he, we, he, we talked to him at like 11 o'clock. He said he was going to come right over as soon as he could to plow for us. He had like two more jobs to do. Um, one thing led to another. He ended up showing up like three hours later with a Jeep. I mean, a Jeep Wrangler, not even with a lift kit on it. I mean, a regular Jeep Wrangler with about maybe 18 inches of clearance at best with a plow on the front. As soon as he pulled into our driveway to start plowing, he got stuck. He got stuck. He got stuck, and a guy across the street, three doors down, said, Yeah, I'll pull you out for $25. That's a neighbor. That guy is shit on my list from here on out. I mean, if he was on his front lawn in flames, I wouldn't piss on him to put him out. You know, you pull that kind of shit, and he's new to the neighborhood. Well, welcome to the neighborhood, asshole, because I got something for you. It ain't nice. So we'll see how things end up tomorrow. I got my cold beer. Look at this, my first sip all day. Oh my god, that tastes so good. So, you know, we'll be even having like a part three to this video.